Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And today, if you guys is another reaction, I told you I would be disclosing and talking about some information uh, related to Gamescom. Now, there was no Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order news that I could find. Um, sadly, no LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. I think that was a terrible, terrible marketing ploy. I know it's coming out next year, but show us something for God's sake. Gamescom still is happening. Um, and D23 is still happening, but we'll have to see. I pray that TT Games show something. However, um, I did pre-order Jedi Fallen Order today on PS4, as well as SpongeBob SquarePants, Battle for Mickey Bottom Rehydrated, uh, IGN, I believe this is IGN, right? Yeah, okay, I'm not a huge fan of IGN. However, uh, they, they do have pretty good, uh, you know, access to early games and all that. So what we're going to be doing today is uh, I'm going to be reacting to around 12 minutes of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated Gameplay from Gamescom 2019. Uh, this link for this video will be in the description below. I'm going to be talking over some of it, uh, so, I can, so it's not going to be super loud. Um, either way, let's just get started. And this is a demo. Uh, essentially, someone got to play it early. So let's uh, check it out. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye. Ah, the rolling green hills of jellyfish fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Are you okay? Those noises, dude. Those free, every single noise they uh, just from. I mean, look at that. It's just this picture right here. The dialogue is the same. The the music is the same. The sound effects, everything. Uh, of course, disclaimer. I guess I used to play this as a kid, like a crazy motherfucker in uh, for the PS2. And it's an all ages game. I still love it, just like SpongeBob. And uh, such a great game. I love that in the SpongeBob SquarePants movie game. Uh, this one's my favorite though. And just to see right now what they've done, it's phenomenal. Everything looks intact, and it's only going to get better from here. No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j -j -j Jellyfish! Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. There's some additional dialogue, but it's a demo. Alright, I'm not too keen on the rainbow looking thing or the pink in that, but that's just the dude in me talking. Um, that's just a great, you know. Just thought I'd say that. Just a great. Oh, so ow, oh, did you ow, oh, find me ow, oh, king jelly ow, oh, fish cat ow. Oh. So cool. The colors look so vibrant too. They look so uh, comparing everything here to the PS2 version. Just wild. Some people don't like the water. Uh, that water more now the right over. There. Uh, uh, whatever. Take it. That's a different color. Okay, there's another thing I loved in the original when SpongeBob had different animations. That looks so freaking cool. And again, everything's intact. They're just making it better. Some people were complaining about the camera angle. I don't... I think it's fine. I didn't play it. Um, and it even says pre alpha on the left there. So it'd probably only get better. Um, but yeah, so if you haven't played the original, those like shiny things, that, I think they're actually called shiny things. Um, those are like your studs if you play Lego games. Um, you know, when you break something in like Lego City undercover, or not Lego City, 
Lego the Hobbit. Studs will fly out, you know, and then they're like your currency. This is your currency in this game too, so. I love that noise. Or whatever. That's so cool. Oh, you're just shy. Alright, okay, it's good to see if all the moves are back, but it's better than ever. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. I see, uh... Squidward, uh, uh, Patrick socks are back, which is pretty cool. That's like a uh, collectible. You can find his socks for him. Now, uh, this is a level, right? This is like level one, uh, kind of the demo, I guess, when you play the real game. Uh, there's actual hub, hub worlds in this game, similar to, oh, I don't know, Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham, some of that kind of stature and size. Uh, not huge, but they're not really small either. They're a good size. Uh, it's kind of like a, an open world SpongeBob game in a way. And I really like it. So hopefully we'll see gameplay of that soon. But again, this is just Jellyfish Field, which is uh, the demo level. So now you have a hunt up to very shiny things. That's cool. Do you guys see that? When SpongeBob uh, went down on that robot, he squished like he went flat. That was really cool. I like that. Oh, I think that's what the Nice. I am going to skip ahead just a little bit because it's mainly just this guy or girl, whoever, collecting shiny things, so I don't want to bore you guys. I mean, I might skip around a little bit in this video, sorry, but I want to spare time for you. That noise, dude, that freaking noise, man. Oh, dude. So many memories. It's going to be so much fun to play with my buddies. As an adult, it's going to be awesome. Another fine for Patrick. I never wanted to play with when I played this original, I was a super little kid, so... <laughs> if I was an adult, I probably, you know, actually want to explore. I give a crap. Don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit! You got hit! You got hit. And if you also notice as he's running, look at Spongebob running in the grass. I know this is a very uh, uh, weird critique, but I love how the grass actually moves. Before, uh, this entire level on the PS2 for me was just like the color green. It was like a shade of green. Now you actually have grass that moves underneath his, his shoes. That rhymed. That was really cool, though. I like that. Hey, Gary, what's shaking? Sound again. Alright, now a lot of people were pissing on the fact that Spongebob looked very strange in that shot. Now, let me actually go back. Uh, he does look a little wooden, uh, but keep in mind this is a pre-alpha, so this is like the very beginning stages of how this game is going to shape up. So, um, 
I do think he's a little wooden. Uh, but again, like I just said, this is a pre-alpha, so I think everyone freaking out that, uh, you know, one minute detail is going to screw the game up for everyone. Uh, just calm down. They're still working on it. So just keep that in mind, too. Whatever looks kind of iffy or weird to you, they might change it to make it look better. Now, people were also wondering about ledge grabbing, if that's going to be a thing. Uh, it will be. I mean, it's a remaster, so uh, they're definitely going to keep that in. I, I don't really know why they wouldn't keep that in. Um, so what I'm going to do now is skip ahead, because really, if you just look at this little tiny box here, it's just him running around collecting shiny things. And, uh, so we're going to go here. <laughs> Beautiful image. Uh, so yeah, we'll continue from here, and we'll watch a little bit more of the jellyfish boss. So now he gets a golden spatula, which is like a gold brick in the Lego game, so that's really cool. He got one. <laughs> Oh, I love those two. Oh my god. Are you sure that you're ready to tackle King Jellyfish? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. One gripe with this, uh, again, this is probably because it's a friggin' pre-alpha, but you can hear water. There's no water coming out of that uh, spigot thing. No water. So what, what, what's he? I mean, I know he's in water, but still, they, there should be water there, right? <laughs> Always pissed. Slap him. Slap that jelly belly. <laughs> Slap him again. Okay, here's another issue I have with it. When you hit the jellyfish, they don't kind of fly away and disappear. They just freaking disintegrate. So, again, pretty alpha. I'm not complaining. I'm just pointing out. Uh, that'll probably be fixed in the product. Oh, Wait, so he just beat up a jellyfish, just slapped it three times, and he's like, yep, all right, you have the ointment, bye, and SpongeBob's not even like, oh, sorry, I beat the tar out of you, he's just like, yep. 
have a good one. <laughs> uh, and I know that's from the original game, and it's fine, but it's funny when I think about it as an adult. You know, it's like, it's probably not it wouldn't go down on the show, but anyway, uh, such an iconic first boss fight. I loved doing that when I was a kid with my buddies, and it looks really good, too. Again, we just need that water coming out. Gamescom is the big It looks so effing good. Look at that. It looks so freaking good, man. The lighting and the everything just looks so much better than the original. Um, so yeah, that was the first uh, 12 minutes. I did skip around a few seconds just so I wouldn't bore you guys with uh, shiny thing collecting and all that. However, um, if you've played the original, you'll know. I mean, there's no doubt about it. This is a fact. That looks good. Uh, sure, people might, you know, the minute details of the camera angle or the, the jellyfish or the water or... Uh, I don't know, just the animation, it, it could look a little wooden, you know. Uh, I think they're all gonna, always gonna fix that, you know, so. I think uh, it looks really great, Purple Lamp, THQ Nordic, uh, did a great job. Again, I did pre-order this today for the PS4, because uh, I did have it on the PS2, so I'm like, you know what, I'll get it on the newest PlayStation. Uh, I can't wait, it looks freaking phenomenal. I hope you guys enjoyed me reacting to this, and hopefully you guys will enjoy watching this too. Again, this is in the description below. Um, so please check it out if you want to without me talking or watching it or whatever, if you just want to see it yourself. Anyway, please leave me a comment in the comment section below what you think. Um, do you like what they're doing with this rehydrated remaster, or would you rather just not have it at all? I, for one, am really excited. I think it looks phenomenal. I can't wait to get my hands on it in 2020. Hopefully we'll learn a release date soon. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.